Welcome to Jesus Christ Miracle Series, Episode 4. In this episode, we reflect on one of Jesus' nature miracles, Jesus calming the storm. This miracle is reported by the three evangelists, Matthew, Mark, and Luke. This does not mean that these are three separate miracles, but rather the same miracle reported by these three of the four evangelists. This miracle must have made a deep impression on Jesus' disciples. The calming of the storm miracle could be applied to the life of the church and to our individual lives. Quite often, the gospel stories are meant to serve as examples to us. This is one such great example. It does not matter how bad the situation seems in our lives. Jesus is always with us and he will save us. This miracle teaches us to have faith in God in every adversity. Karl Rahner, a great German theologian, once said, Faith means putting up with God's incomprehensibility for a lifetime. Now the scripture reading. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you, and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Glory to you, Lord. After leaving the crowd behind, they took him, just as he was in the boat, and there were other boats with him. Then it began to blow a great gale, and the waves were breaking into the boat, so that it was all almost swamped. But he was in the stern, his head on the cushion, asleep. They woke him and said to him, Master, do you not care? We are lost. And he woke up and rebuked the wind and said to the sea, Quiet now, be calm. And the wind dropped and there followed a great calm. Then he said to them, Why are you so frightened? Have you still no faith? They were overcome with awe and said to one another, Who can this be? Even the wind and the sea obey him. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Jesus asks his disciples two questions. Why are you so frightened? Have you still no faith? I've heard it said, do not be afraid, is written in the Bible 365 times. From the earliest of times, Christian tradition has seen the boat representing the church. And Jesus sleeping through the storm, we could see that sometimes that Jesus does not seem to come to the church's rescue during persecution. Likewise, we can also feel that we, when we are experiencing storms in our lives, when we are frightened and feel helpless like the disciples, we too might think that God is asleep. I'm sure we can all relate to the behavior of the disciples. How often do we cry out, Lord, do you not care? I remember during one of my holidays abroad some years ago, I got stuck in the lift with a few members of my family. It was on a late Sunday evening and the maintenance team had gone home for the weekend. We were all filled with fear as we were desperate to get some fresh air. Yes, the help arrived, finally. Jesus did send us help and we were rescued within an hour. 
Jesus rebuked not only the winds, but also his disciples for their lack of faith. Let us not forget, Jesus did not promise us comfort or luxury in this life. Let us take heed to his words. In the world you will have hardship, but be courageous. I have overcome the world. So let us pray to God to increase our faith every single day and overcome all our fears. Dear friends in Christ, thank you for watching. Please comment, share and subscribe to receive automatic notifications of all the other future episodes and prayer videos. Next week is Jesus' exorcism miracles of two demoniacs living among the tombs. May God bless you and your family. Be safe and stay blessed. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. When the storms of life are raging, stand by me. When the storms of life are raging, stand by me. When the world is tossing me like a ship upon the sea, Lord, who rules the wind and water, stand by me. In the midst of tribulation, stand by me. In the midst of tribulation, stand by me. When the hosts of hell assail, and my strength begins to fail, Lord, who never lost a battle, stand by me. In the midst of faults and failures, stand by me. In the midst of faults and failures, stand by me. When I've done the best I can, and my friends misunderstand, Lord, who knowest all about me, Stand by me.